Welcome back and thank you for joining me today. In this video I wanted to share how I will be cleaning this throttle body on my Volvo T6. I'm pretty sure it was never done on my car and uh, I suspect that the throttle body is going to be pretty clean because it's a low mileage car. It's 2009 with uh, only 77,000 kilometers on it and uh, since i'm uh, changing oil very frequently every 6000 kilometers and i'm using uh, mobile one zero w30 oil and we have pretty good uh, quality gas here in canada it's a three liter t6 with uh, original polestar optimization and it's important to note that the ceiling gasket for the throttle body is different on the non-turbo 3.2 engine so make sure you order the correct gasket when you're going to be removing the throttle body. It's original gasket from Volvo from my dealer made in France and it's 35 Canadian dollar, not cheap. Also got throttle body cleaning fluid here and I got a new light that will help me out to see what I'm doing and uh, to film it. Let's get to it. I'm gonna start removing the throttle body of the car. Let's take a closer look how everything looks underneath. First, I will uh, remove the hose completely of the car. This way it's gonna give me more room to work on the throttle body bolts. There is two clamps that hold the hose and it's a seven millimeter socket. I will loosen both clamps. There is a little room to work, but uh, still manageable. Not as bad as I thought it's gonna be. Working my way slowly here. Once it's loose, just pull on the hose downwards, it's pretty tight. And I did already loosen the bottom clamp and I'm gonna pull off the hose of the pipe and the hose of the car. What I noticed is that this uh, top clamp, it's not gonna fall down because it has this uh, interesting design, there is a catch on the side that keeps it from falling down. Pretty good design which makes this job easier. Next is uh, Torx 30 to remove the four bolts that hold the throttle body to the intake manifold. You can see the bolts here. Uh, pretty much working here by feel you want to unscrew all four bolts. And the first bolt is out. It looks more like a screw to me. Sorry for the background noise, I didn't realize that my neighbor is cutting grass. Here are the four screws out. This is how they look. And be careful not to drop the throttle body down because it's gonna hang on the electrical connector. So carefully um, disconnect the connector of the throttle body without dropping it. Just push on the top with your finger and pull away the connector. and the throttle body is out of the vehicle. Immediately, so I don't forget, I'm gonna remove the old gasket with this uh, sharp object. And what a great design, the gasket doesn't fall out because it has those uh, special teeth inside the intake manifold. Uh, honestly, I was skeptical whether should I buy a new gasket and I'm uh, glad I did get a new one com considering the high price. If we compare the two, the old one is uh, much more compressed, it's uh, much more brittle, so don't save, get a new gasket. Reinstalling the gasket is pretty easy, I'm just uh, putting it back by feel, and uh, again, what a nice design, it doesn't fall out.
Let's take a closer look now at this throttle body. As I've suspected, it's pretty clean. You can't even compare uh, a gasoline engine throttle to a diesel one. The diesel one will have loads of soot on it. The throttle body is also stamped with Moco, Ford Motor Company, unfortunately. I guess it's made in Hungary. Let's uh, start with the cleaning process. I decided to smooth out the surface where the gasket makes contact. You don't have to do it. I've done it my way, so uh, continue with, at your own risk. It's a good idea to keep the electronic uh, mechanism towards the top while you are cleaning. This way there is less chance that any fluid will uh, seep into the mechanism down the shaft of the butterfly. Be careful when uh, opening manually the butterfly, it's spring-loaded and there is uh, drive gears inside, but you have to open it to clean it really well. And I've seen uh, numerous posts uh, when people clean uh, their uh, EGR valve and the throttle body on diesel uh, Volvo engines and you can't even compare. The amount of soot that the diesel engine produce is incredible. This is nothing. This is the most that I found out. This line where the butterfly sits against the body, this is probably the thickest uh, suit that uh, was on uh, my throttle body here. As you can see right here. I'm gonna clean this out really well and uh, the result is gonna speak to itself. Just take a look at uh, how it looks now. As you can see, nice and shiny, very clean. Took me some time, of course, uh, but uh, I was just using a toothbrush and some different chemicals. I'm going to put a link right now on the screen and at the end of this video, on uh, the video where uh, we've cleaned the EGR valve and the, the throttle body on a diesel Volvo. So if you haven't watched that video, you're welcome. Putting the throttle body back onto the intake manifold, you cannot uh, go wrong because there is this lock place which needs to align with a tab on the intake manifold right here. This way you can't put it the wrong way. Sliding it in and uh, just by feel I'm gonna align it with the intake manifold. I did reconnect the connector. And here again you can see where that uh, tab aligns with the hole in the throttle body. While holding the body in place I'm gonna loosely screw the screws back in, all four of them. All four screws are in and now gradually I'm gonna tighten all of them around. I did spray a little bit of WD-40 into the thread holes. This way the screws were going in much more smoother. The torque that I've used just screw the, all the screws by hand all the way in until they don't go anymore. The gasket gets compressed and once the throttle body meets the intake manifold, it's done. So don't be afraid, you don't have to use a torque wrench here. Sliding the hose back into position actually takes more time than removing it. I'm gonna first reattach the bottom part onto the hose. Just. Uh, Take your time here and carefully slide it on. Realign the hose clamp uh, where it was before. And if you look on top, there is a white line which I guess needs to correspond with the plastic tab on the pipe. This way you know it's in correct position. The upper part actually was really tight to slide it back onto the throttle body. I did not lubricate it and I just pushed it upwards using some force. And what a great design on that clamp, it doesn't fall down. 
which makes the installation uh, easy. When you tighten those clamps, make sure you don't overdo it so it doesn't cut the rubber. Quick final check, both clamps are tightened, the throttle body is in place, the connector is attached and what an interesting design here with the alternator where it's uh, been driven directly off the engine without a belt. Let's start the car and see if everything works as it should. And it runs as it should. I didn't notice any difference after cleaning the throttle body, but it just feels good that it's clean now. I did spend some time cleaning the engine compartment and it looks much better now. I hope that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit like, don't forget the notification bell and I'll see you next time. Bye bye guys.